You can't get back there in a the vehicle. It's about three feet easy. Paul Clavier navigates his canoe down the street in the Haven subdivision near Robert. It's a mess, and Clavier says it's not unusual. Anytime there's a rainstorm, this is what it's going to look like. Unfortunately, it happened on a Monday on trash pickup, so, you know, now there's a mess that comes with it. It worries. It makes you think, you know, what's going on. <laughs> Got to be in the back of your mind. Yes, it is. The water left behind by that strong storm system filled the streets of the Haven, a water and trash obstacle course. Fortunately, no water in any houses. But it just sat there, leaving scores of people stranded. Couldn't get to school, couldn't get to work, just stuck. Yeah, I took pictures and sent them to my boss this morning. <laughs> Said, guess what? I can't come in because I think they thought I was crazy because I'm still flooded. I figured it would dry. I mean, it would recede by now where I could get out, but, you know, that's not the case yet. Still waiting to go to work. Still waiting to go to work. Too much rain in a short period of time in a, in a major uh, drainage way. Drainage District Administrator Kylie Bates says the water here drains into Sims Creek, then onto the Tanchbo River. Problem overnight, the creek went out of its banks. The haven became a bathtub, leaving folks here anything but high and dry. So there's not much uh, survey work that we can do right now, but as the water levels recede, we'll travel, uh, we'll walk to Sims Creek to make sure that there's no blockages. But residents here say this happens way too often. They all remember the March and August floods, and they want something done to alleviate their ongoing drainage issues. Uh, hopefully they can get it something, some kind of relief, because, I mean, this happens on a, a regular rain.